to the Ross Patterson Revolution. Brought to you by GhostBed.com. <laughs> Welcome to Ross Patterson Revolution. No hat today, Jabes. No hat. No hat. Feeling young and fresh and flirty. Yeah, we got a school function tonight for our child. Mm-hmm. A performance. Yeah. Do we know what it is? Nope. Okay. Great. So You're the mother of the year. year. You're the mother of the year. I'm just going to put this trophy next to all my other trophies on the shelf. Yeah. I talked to um, our uh, Nanye on the way out of the house this morning. Nanye. Nanny. Sure. And uh, so you can do this beautiful show every day uh-huh. for the people. Yes. And she saves our saves she, our lives. She works with us and, and, and two of our best friends as well. Yeah. Uh, Kim and Joe. And uh, she kind of looked at me, you know, like startled when I walked out uh, into the garage. She was just like, oh. And I was like, oh, that's right. I don't look like a dirt bag today with like a hat on backwards. So it was like, right. school function tonight. And she goes, yeah. Uh, you know, the, the Monahans are going or whatever. Yeah. And I was like, yeah, absolutely. And um, and she goes, they had asked if we had known about it. And I was like, look, we're not we're not terrible. Parents. We love our children. Yeah. Right? And like I get all the things. Yeah. I get all the emails and all the like messages from. And we don't miss. We've teachers, never missed. No. Yeah. And then I just went to Hobby Lobby on the way here to yeah. make his. um valentine's box that he wanted to make football themed so i'm gonna do a scarlet outside a gray inside we're go. gonna put footballs and hearts everywhere there you and go. i got the teachers the good fancy like nice chocolates mm-hmm. and their own card that's great so i try and like i try you're great you're a great mom it all comes from guilt and it all comes from guilt otherwise i would just be like <laughs> oh send in with a card you know what i mean and a tissue box I'd be like, here you go, have fun, if I was there all the time. But since I'm not, he gets, you know. People, I think people assume because we host two, three very disgusting shows now between Drinking Bros, sure. Drinking Broettes, and this one, that right. uh, we're dirtbags in real life, which is not the case, actually. Yeah. Not the case. I mean, a healthy amount. Ah, you're a great mom. You're, you're awesome. Eh. You're awesome. <laughs> eh. Eh. You're a great mom. <laughs> eh. uh, me, I feel bogged down by work and, and life sometimes, and I, I feel like I don't have enough time in this world. Mm-hmm. Therefore, when I have to waste time, like after work or during work, that, that's on things that don't want to be spending my time on, I get fucking hot real quick. Case in point last night. Yeah. Right? Poor a hemplo. Yeah. So. <laughs> You were editing your show last night, so I went. I dipped out a little earlier, took care of the kids, yeah, and uh, got them in the bath, and then, ring, ring. Um, actually, it's a, it's like a king's oh, anthem. Oh yeah, you your text that, is very annoying. Yeah, that's amazing. It's not a, it's not a super annoying. You won't change it, but yeah. Every time I'm out and that goes off, it is it's it's those horns of announcing a king entering a castle. Yeah. Every dude in a bar or a, or a restaurant wherever we're at was just like, oh fuck yeah, Buddy. of course that's yours, mm-hmm. you know. And I'm like, hell's yeah, sure. And then you, you hate it, um, because the king Look. is present. Yeah. And, you know, when you hear it, you've been going silent lately, which I guess is a millennial um, trait. No, I'll I'll tell you why. No, I'm just telling you it is. So if you have your ringtone on, it's boomer status. And I'm like, what? Mm. That because makes, I that, guess that they sense. have their phone on them all the time. You don't want to like be loud and yeah, have yeah, the yeah. loud ass that, old that person sense. ring. No. Yeah. Uh, so, so that, that's what I was going to say. So there is because of work and, you know, not, we're doing 42 shows a month now with this media company. People are calling all the time. Uh, our advertisers are in L.A. and Austin, Texas. Um, I, they're what, two, three hours behind us, you know, respectively yes. for both. So we'll get them. I think Austin's two hours behind. All day. All, all, yeah, all night. And I feel bad. So I don't want to disrupt the kids. I don't want them to think dad's cell phone is constantly going off. So I put it on vibrate and it's in my pocket. And, yeah. you know, I, I don't really miss a call. You on vibrate, however, is is a whole different story. Yeah. Um, You've got a different body uh, that doesn't respond to vibration. Apparently. No, girls put their phone in their purse. 
So it's mm. like you don't have it in your back pocket. You don't have it in your front, wherever you keep your phone. Front pocket, yeah. You can feel it. Okay. So in, in the purse, you sometimes feel it and sometimes you don't, right? You put the purse in the like grocery cart or mm-hmm. you put it down on the counter or whatever yep. it may be. So there's a, you know, there's a lot of excuses. Okay. Okay. I'm, I'm going to give you there's the Denzel Washington. There's a lot of excuses Washington. that okay. I can use. Okay. But, you know. So last night. Who cares? Kids are in the bath. I put the kids in the bath. You come home uh, from editing. Uh, I just want to kick your feet up. And I'm screaming sure. at someone on the phone. Yeah. Customer service again. I get a text message from my bank, Bank of America. Yeah. And I'm going to call them out because I, well, I just don't care. Um, let's face it. Everything in this world is, is now being controlled by three companies in every single facet, right? Mm-hmm. Uh, we tried to sign up. I hated Bank of America so much that I switched over to Wells Fargo. Mm-hmm. Remember how awful that was? Where we couldn't charge anything more than like $2,000. So they wanted us to call in or come into the bank. 200 yeah, yeah. <laughs> It was 200 It was a debit card. And there was plenty of money in there. And I go, hey, man. I feel like the first two times it happened, I was like, yeah, and they were like, oh, it's front protection. You know, it's just the first couple of times. And I was like, all right. But it feels like I'm asking dad for prom money every yeah. single time. And, and it was like the sale of one house and then the remodeling of another. So yeah. like you <laughs> had that money in there and I was just trying to like pay people, you know, because I do a little cash. Yeah. And, under the um, table. Under the table. And so it was just like, I would have to like go to different Wells Fargo's and I was like, what the fuck is happening? Like, yeah, I I was so used to it because I never um, have money. Like, do you know what I mean? <laughs> like, growing up, that was very for me. Yeah, well, yeah, for everybody. Like, creditors everybody, yeah. are like my dad. Like, yeah. I, it the banks and creditors were <clears throat> always like my dad. As far as like, you don't really handle this well, so I'm not gonna give you access. Yeah, and so to me, it was like smart. You know, it was like, you <laughs> fucker. <laughs> it was like, it made sense to me. And you were like, dude, no, it's not supposed to be no, like that. No, definitely not. like, okay, I'll just go to all the different Wells Fargo's and get the fucking cash out. Yeah, I mean, it, it seemed like we were running a fucking uh-huh. Breaking Bad sitch in our garage. And I was like, this is fucking bullshit. So we had to pull that money out, all of it. And they were like, oh, please don't leave. Yeah, and I was like, no, happy. dude, I'm not asking you for fucking prom money for, it was like a couch. It was like, you know, a set of couches or like two grand or whatever it was. Something. And they were like, they were no. like, no, no. And I go, I'm sorry. Oh, cause it's, it's my money. So I'm just going to take it all out of the, the fucking bank. And you're lucky if I don't ask for it in cash. Yeah. So I can pennies. see your fucking fat ass yeah. counting it out in front of me. Um, sure. and ripped it out of there, put it in bank of America. And at this point as Americans, we just kind of take it right. You're just like, uh-huh. it's very, yeah. it's just very, you know, glory style just like yeah i took the fucking shoes let's put the arms up let's get the whipping over with and fuck off right right so i get this text last night from fraud alert we've <laughs> shut down your card huh because there was some kind of there wasn't any their ch- minds fraudulent there was activity. not any charge there's not any charges now this one was a business account with uh my co-host on drinking bros uh d'anthony d'anthony and we we gone in set it up together uh, two separate phone numbers, two separate credit cards, two separate debit cards, all that shit. Sure. But I get the text last night, so I mm-hmm. call in, and uh, they're asking me to verify information that clearly was not my information. Um, I'm assuming it was my co-host, Dan's. Okay. Either way, I go, look, you're the ones that text me. And they're, they said, well, this isn't your phone number. And I was like, you just text me. I have it. This is the, the number you texted me on. Uh, they did and not, they say it, w- it wasn't on your record. Co- correct, which oh. it is because they, they were the ones that texted me. That's how I got the info that there was a fraud alert, right? Mm-hmm. And I go, you want to explain this one? You want to riddle me this? First of all, I talked to two non-Americans last night. Sure. Um, one, and I think that they just make up names. We did a, a show called Fuck AT&T mm-hmm. uh, a couple years ago. It was one of our highest of all time on Drinking Bros. With American Tony. With American Tony, yeah. Clearly he was not American. Last night I got American Juan. Oh, right. Juan, just mm-hmm. Juan. And uh, had a, a chat with him. Mm-hmm. And then he switched me over to another supervisor who mm-hmm. was another Latino woman. Okay. Broken English, didn't understand anything. And sure. this is Bank of America, by the way. Not Bank of Mexico, Bank of America. So I don't, I, again, I don't know where I'm calling at this point, mm-hmm. but they said I was not me. I was not who I, I said I was. Oh. And um, 
that I was going to have to now call this happened back t- somewhere else too today. So I said, look, how about I just call back on the show um, for two reasons. One, for my and your own amusement. Sure. Um, and any, any woman that's listening out there maybe can finally understand what us dudes go through. Mm-hmm. Dealing with customer service every single day, it is a fucking awful, painful process. So hopefully you'll have some sympathy for, for me after this. Uh, but two, um, you'll actually get to hear and go through this as well. And, right. And... Uh, uh, and fully get the, the breath and the scope of this. So that, Nightmare. therefore, maybe when I get off the phone with these things, you'll have a little bit of sympathy for me. Throw me, uh, you know, an HJ, uh, maybe a shoulder rub, something like that. Because dealing with this shit every single day is I miserable. To, how am I supposed to, like, do that at, like, the same time? Jesse, you got to use both arms at the same time. Da Vinci did. So he am used I to, just he used to write inside one, out. Am I just ru- rubbing one shoulder and then the HJ? Correct. And then uh-huh. once the HJ is done, then you can swap up with the other shoulder. And, and then, then it's just the shoulder at that point. No, you're, the other one's cleaning up then, obviously. So um, it's going to get a little messy. You know? Anywho. Uh, <laughs> Can't wait for today. It's a personal nightmare, and I am here for it. It is, and I'm glad because it is my personal nightmare, and I hate dealing with these. And it, it feels like look, I don't deny two or three you this. times a week. I so don't deny you this. Let's call Bank of America. <laughs> let's, get them on, let's get them on the horn. Should we do sponsors with them? Well, we're going to be on hold, so yes. <laughs> we'll do sponsors. <laughs> hey, we're brought to you by Ghost Fed. <laughs> Juan, <laughs> how do you feel about it? This call may be recorded. Thank you for calling this Bank of America too. ATM debit card client protection. Yeah. Para servicio en español, marque nueve. Ah, marque nueve. As a mo- I didn't understand. To securely verify with your That's mobile right. device, I can send a text message to the mobile device that you're calling from. Message and data rates may apply. For privacy notices, Visit bankofamerica.com slash privacy. Huh. For SMS terms and conditions, visit bofa.com slash smstc. Mm. Would you? Let's try this another way. Yeah. Please. Say- let's just go operator here. We'll go zero. I always go stock standard zeros. You? I don't For security, depends. you must provide required information to speak with an associate. Yeah. Please. Stop fucking talking, dude. It's like messing it up. Well, what am I supposed to do? Shut up. Oh, look at this. No. We will be unable to assist you until your account is securely verified. If you need time to get that information, press one. Otherwise, I do. I do need time. Hang on, James. Okay, I'll wait here. When you're ready to continue, say, I'm back, or press one. I'm back. Great. Please enter the last four digits of your ATM debit card number or your social security number or tax. Uh. Please uh, hold while I connect card. you. There your call go. may be monitored for quality assurance. You betcha. You bet it is. All of our associates are busy assisting other callers. You don't Rather say. than wait on hold, we can call you back when you're next in line between five and eight minutes from now. No. If you choose to use this service, we'll place a call using auto dialing technology to a number of your choice, including a cell phone. Please press one to agree. Press two to continue holding. To hear, okay. Please remain on the line we'll for the next holding. available associate. That way we Current can do the sponsors. Time is between five and eight minutes Perfect. from now. This call may Perfect. be monitored or recorded for quality a... purposes. This one's this one's going to be monitored and recorded for calling. as well. What kind of music? Please hold. An associate will be with you shortly. Not if they're going to keep just saying this, right? No, we're going to. We're, we're, I'll, I'll turn it down. We can talk over it. Okay. Yeah. Perfect. Uh, first and foremost, we're brought to you by ghostbed.com forward slash drinking bros. Best in the beers. I slept so good last night without you. Really did. you. Oh, you, yeah, you did. You did. We're uh, <laughs> what, re-sleep training our child. Is that what we're calling it? Yeah, it's a sleep regression. Anyone with kids knows it's bullshit. It happens every eight, you know, when they're 18 months and... I think past two, it's good, but hey, who fucking knows? There's going to be some other fucking thing that I have to do. Hello. 
Is it comforting to hear this in the background? Alerts to be sent to your I email mean, or no. <laughs> via text message, and you can answer that alert directly. Be honest with you, no. I know it's all of these songs and jingles. I know, right? It's <laughs> triggering, and it's like making me very stressed. Are you going to turn it off or not? No, it's just going to go low in the background and just can en- it go enjoy- lower? Hey, just enjoy your life. Just enjoy your life. Anyways, I slept. I'm going to have to focus. Yeah. I slept really well last. What's she saying? She's just saying the same message over and over again. I slept really well. It's very lost. Yeah. uh, Without you last night. Okay, Thank good. On the ghost patient. bed. It's one of my favorite things to do. <laughs> all of needs. I'm just I know joking. It is. I am joking. But I, I did. I do like to make the bed in the morning mm-hmm. and look at the ghost bed and say, I'll fucking see you I'll later, see you dude. Later, and I cannot did wait. You make a transaction yeah. on your yeah. card you can't wait. Cancel? I can't wait. Rather I love it so much. I know. And you, you, you too at home can love it so much. Everything is 25% off. Pillows, sheets, mattresses, adjustable bases. Did I say the word mattress weird? Mattresses? Uh, I put a little coffee in my beak. Mattresses, adjustable bases, you name it, they got that shit. 25% off. And as always, they got a 36 month pay as you go program. No interest. No one on the internet is offering that. So if you get shit for 25% off and then bingo, bango, dodge, Durango, you hop on over to the pay as you go program. You're looking at 20 bucks a month. You can get whatever you want. You, you know what you, you can really use out of it? They have a USB ports on their adjustable bases. So when you're on hold with customer service all the time, you just plug it into your bed. Uh, maybe put a. Uh, iPad in your lap, get a little jerk session uh, while you, while you can hear this voice in the background. Because let's face you it, this is what everybody has to do now, right? You got to put this on speaker, put it in the background, and then do something else. So I'm just saying it's worth it. There's multiple USB ports for that reason. Now, Ghostbed didn't tell me that. Mm-hmm. Just a guess. I wouldn't think that they would. Just a guess. So when you're on the bed with your legs all the way out, mm-hmm. and you have the laptop on your legs, you can still jerk it? Uh, yeah, but, but you like go further it down. down. Yeah, you go like further down. Knees? Yep. No, you got to go down. Seems a little like, like a little bit. Yeah, we I know. Yeah. Technology isn't number. there. They haven't. You don't put it off to the side? They haven't. No, it's too much. Stra- too much of a like, Strain your neck, yeah. Uh, uh, it's too uh, much. Uh, you want to focus uh, straight ahead. Gotcha. And uh, they, haven't, they haven't created like a, a jack table. I was at Brookstone the other day. They haven't set up like a jack table for your laptop so you can jack off properly. It's just like, oh, sweet. You know, mm-hmm. maybe ghost bed will. That would be my carry on on flights. Oh, it's, <laughs> oh sorry. And you like hold it yeah. through the hole <laughs> like a handle. <laughs> How lovely. <laughs> How lovely. Uh, pardon me, stewardess. <laughs> uh, Stu, I need my I need my uh, jack table for uh, my long trips. <laughs> Do you know where I can put my masturbation table for my laptop? Oh, boy. Um, Lawsuit. I'm not saying. <laughs> I'm not saying. I'm not saying I'm not. Brookstone should do it, but they should do it. They should do it. Next up, we got StrikeForceEnergy.com. Boom, 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 boom. Shablankers. Shablankers. You you gotta focus through it, James. I know I know exactly what you're going through right now. Shablankers. Mentally in the background. Look, and you just go, oh, every time it stops, you is that them? Yeah. Is it them? Are they going? It sucks. And anybody who's driving right now listening to this show is just like, oh no, I've been through this and it fucking sucks. Strike first will help. Um, I'm hopped up on it today. Clearly. I got a little bit in this red, red solo cup. I think it's a Toby Keith song. Yeah. Big shock. Of course it is. Big shock, yeah. Um, I got my brown boots on my red solo cup. I'm sucking dick and (laughs) drinking beers. There we go. Absolutely, Nina. This call is also recorded as well. My name is Ross Patterson. And how are you today? You know, I've been better, Nina. Um, you guys uh-huh. texted me last night that there was a fraud alert, and mm-hmm. I, I called in, um, and then I was informed the the there was a gentleman named Juan, um, and he did not believe I was who I said I was. Okay, well, sure, I should be able to assist you with this. Um, are you calling about your personal account or one of your business accounts? Business accounts. And which business is it? Uh, Drinking Bros Podcast. Alright. Uh, let me see. So, may I send you a text message to your phone number ending in? Uh, no. Um, and and this no? is this is part of the problem here, Nina. Um, you uh, guys you guys texted me on my my personal phone number last night. 
is my that's my business partner in this company. Uh, now we okay. si- we signed up for this account together, um, mm-hmm. and and the text message I received was on my personal fo- phone number. Um, so can I give you a phone call to your number and then? Yes, you can. So I'm All gonna right, have to me. to get off this current phone call and answer the other one. Yes, sir. So it's for authentication. I'm gonna call you right back. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Is that the last four of your number? Huh? What's the last four of your number? Jamie, bleep it. Oh. There it is. Oh, I didn't think she said that. Sorry. Hello. Hi, this is Nina from For Servicing, you can call me, be recorded, or monitored. Can you repeat your first and last name for quality? Yes, um, and this call is also recorded. Uh, Ross Patterson. Okay, thank you. Uh, so let's see. Yeah. So, Mr. Patterson, I do see that we placed some load on your debit card, so I'm just going to go over some charges with you, okay? Sure. Thank you. All right, so there's PayPal for $15 on the 7th. PayPal Acosta. Yep. Okay. Amazon for $20.96. Uh, don't know about that one. Okay. Sure. Um, so I know you can like double check it while I'm on the phone with you. Yeah. Yeah. Go ahead. What day was that? This is on the ninth. Okay. Yeah. That one's there. That's a good charge. Yeah. Okay. Great. And then there's a charge last night, well, yesterday, for onward together for five dollars and twenty nine cents, and is listed as a political organization. Onward together. Yes. So did you like donate any money yesterday? Oh, no, actually, I did not. Right? Uh, okay. Um, wait, maybe. Well, that's an indication. What, what time was that charge? Uh, you're in North Carolina. Okay. So that charge was at 622 p.m. Last night? Last night, huh? Um, well, maybe Dan did. Should I text him? Eh. Yeah, text him real quick. Let me let me find out. We'll 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 text my co-host if he if he. So a six dollar charge was the one that that triggered it, huh? Yeah, the five twenty nine. Yeah, h- hang on. Give me two seconds. No problem. Onward together. What? Onward together. It's like a political fund? Yeah. You said it's a political fund? Yes, sir. Oh no! This is Hillary Clinton's campaign. <gasps> De- I definitely did not do this. We did, are you we, serious? Yes, we did. We did not do this. Oh my goodness! Okay, well, it looks like somebody unfortunately has gained access to your card information, so we're going to have to close the card as well as file a fart from your He says no. Thing, okay? Wow! Yeah, this Whoa. is this is the Hillary Clinton campaign. Um, well, I'm, I'm on this site now. We definitely did not do this. Why would someone just get okay. the card? Well, yeah, and- so we'll go ahead and close the card and file the fraud claim. What is the address on the account? <laughs> and most city, state, and zip code. Uh, Thank you. So your new card will arrive in a Bank of America envelope within the next four to six business days. It'll have a new card number, expiration date, and security code. But your PIN, checkings, and savings account information will remain the same. Okay. Update any companies or service providers to bill you automatically with the new card information and expiration date. And then you can go ahead and destroy the existing card. And is that card still in your possession? It is, yes. Is there any way to uh, ad- advance that a couple, like uh, overnight that by any chance? So, um, it wouldn't be overnight, but I can expedite it. Great. Let's do that. All right. And where do you normally keep your card? Um, uh, on my, in my wallet. 
Okay. And do you suspect someone that you know of doing this transaction? No, but the the, the hilarious thing is um, we uh, we swing the other way uh, uh, okay. for 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 Donald Trump. So, mm-hmm. so somebody doing this for Hillary Clinton is, is like is, to mess with us, kind yeah, of. Yeah, that's really funny. Whoa! Yeah, that's crazy. <laughs> okay. Um, well, we have gathered all the necessary information to initiate your claim. We want to be charges for ten family days. You'll receive a temporary credit at the each transaction post your account, and any related fees will also be reversed. Okay. We'll send you a letter with your claim number to notify you of each credit. If pending transactions close to the account after ten days, those transactions will not be added to the claim, and you'll need to call us to initiate a new claim. Due to the research involved with your claim, it may take up to 90 days to reach a decision. And once you've completed the research, you'll get a letter with the results. Do you have any questions or what to expect with the claim process? I, kind of. Uh, do you think Epstein did it? Do you think he killed himself? Um, I, I'm not sure. <laughs> <laughs> me, Thank you, Nina. Me neither, but this, you, Nina, Nina, this worries me because... If Hillary Clinton has stolen my credit card oh, information, stop it. am I next, Nina? I don't want to be next. I'm a pretty decent dude. Okay, well, right. So what I can do is I can send you out an email reference with some tips that you can use to hopefully lessen the likelihood of fraud happening again, okay? Okay, cool. But is it involving the Clintons? Because that's the only thing I really need help with in life. Leave the her other alone. Stuff. I'm totally joking, Nina. Um, no, it's more so like general information, but it's helpful. What is your email address? Uh, R O S S A N G E L E S 3000 at hotmail.com. Okay, so on file, we have a Gmail, a Gmail account. Uh, yeah. But if you give me one second. Yeah, you, you can send it to that. It's my co host. Okay, and what is that email address? Uh, I believe it's uh, Dan Holloway. Dan um, Holloway at Gmail. At Gmail. Uh, we we have Holloway. like nine, nine email addresses. It's totally fine. You, you don't have to send me that. I was just kidding about the Clinton thing. Oh, okay. Uh, well, my name is. Well, actually, no, I'm sorry. I gotta expedite the card. I'll waive the fee, but not to actually send it out. Um, and your phone number ending in nine uh, nine, nine five eight one. That's a good number. Yeah, nine five eight seven. Yes. Yeah, I'm sorry. it's not in front of me. I was going off of memory. Nah, it's cool. Hey, it's better than my waitress at Carabas last night. She remembered nothing and didn't write anything down. Oh, oh wow. Yeah, I, I wanted that blue cheese wedge, and instead, I ended oh, up with. A Thousand Island dressing. <laughs> okay. Um, so I was able to expedite your card out to you. My name is Nina. You may receive an email survey based solely on my service. And I hope you have a wonderful day. You too. Thank you, Nina. No problem. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Love you, Nina. <laughs> Can you call? Do you want to call Dan? So he's like, "What the fuck?" No, he's like, "What the fuck?" Call him. My what? Thing is How this? crazy! Why wouldn't they tell me last if night? If you have access to that card, first of all, that's very scary. But that you only charged—I think it was probably to test it, right? They always do something to kind of test. Or is it just a subtle dig? Well, I'm going to call Dan, my co-host, right now. Call him and get him get him on the horn. Oh my gosh. Oh my God, dude. Dan. Yes. D'Anthony, you're live on Ross Patterson Revolution. How are you? Oh, uh, you know, <laughs> just waiting for my fucking body to die. <laughs> waiting for my what? Waiting for my body to die. Oh, okay. Well, this call may be recorded, Dan. Uh, um, no, it is recorded. Oh, we're we're oh, live okay. on sorry, air. Sorry, sorry, sorry. So I was about to go on an epic rail against bank of america i got a text message last night that our our card there was a fraud alert on there right right and so i called in and they only had well they texted me but they had your phone number which i don't know by heart no american knows each other's numbers by well, heart they, it's not your dad both of our phone numbers are on uh on that account yeah right. by the way. that's, how and it that's what i said so last night i spent i spent uh an hour and 47 minutes talking to two Latinos who did not believe I said who I say I uh, said I was, and uh, they told me to basically go fuck myself. So I was like, "Eh." Well, but you also told them to go fuck themselves. Well, right? afterwards, sure, afterwards, right? And I said, "Look, I'll, I'll, we'll call in live on air today and figure this out." And when we called, it was a donation to the Hillary Clinton campaign of five dollars. 
Um, yeah, I saw, uh, I saw the fraud alert last night, but I'm not dealing with that at night. So I just figured I would call a day. Then Jesse texted me earlier and said she was looking into it. Yeah, that, that is, uh, um, onward together, I think is the name <laughs> onward of Onward yeah. together. I'm on the website now. It is Hillary Clinton's campaign. Let's... Well, sort of. <laughs> I mean, it's a, it's a group that she allegedly with Howard Dean, who you remember from, uh, shouting oh yeah <laughs> Woo! A bunch of Whoa. The names of bunch of states. <laughs> okay uh, they started this fucking pack it's a 501c4 and in uh 2017 in may i think or june it was right after she got fucking housed by donald trump yeah okay uh, that's right who yeah. is your president by the way if you were <laughs> curious about that that's kind of how it works at any rate uh uh yeah so they start but it's funny to me that <clears throat> Besides all this shit and Bank of America being a bunch of uh, cunts, um, it's funny to me that Hillary Clinton started a, a pack for progressives. She's <laughs> yeah, not that <laughs> not all. that. I no. know. If there was She's anyone like, who's more anti Bernie right now, it's is her. it weird <sighs> to you? Is it weird to you, Dan, at all that like someone got access to our card but only charged five dollars to Hillary's campaign? And wait, and not only that, but it was just the, it was specifically the Drinking Bros podcast card, which obviously yeah, it's not mine. Like we're we go hard right for Trump, and then uh, it, it was almost like a very no? subtle dig. Uh, yeah, it kind of makes me think it was one of our friends fucking with us, to be honest. Right? But like, then... So we did, a lot of people don't don't remember this, but uh, uh, we did an AMA on Reddit a couple years ago with, with Evan. And uh, one of the things pe- people looked, I mean, you know how it is, it's the internet. So people looked into his uh, contribution history and it turns out he had contributed like, I don't know, like 50 <laughs> bucks to Obama at some point. But it was, it was because he lost a bet. <laughs> okay, <laughs> but still, like, what the fuck? Uh, and for those yeah. people at home, Evan Hafer is the the president and CEO of BlackRifleCoffee dot com. Yeah, promo code Drinking Bros twenty percent off there. He would definitely not donate money to the no. Obama campaign. No, 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 no. Oh. But it's funny because people are like, "Oh, you fucking, you're a hypocrite. You donated to yeah. Obama." Like, well, no, no, we just fuck with each other. Yeah. <laughs> but here's the thing, Dan. So let me ask you because you you have experience in in politics and all that stuff. Um. Now, does this will this show up as Drinking Bros podcast supported <laughs> onward together? Love. Uh, well, it depends if the money is. It'll uh, be retracted. Given back, the, yeah. Then maybe not, but there's a you can go to a website. It's OpenSecrets.org, and you can look up anybody who's either got a pack, a political campaign, or individual donors by name. No way. OpenSecret.com oh, yeah. could be so many things. Dot org. But, oh, dot org. I'm sorry. Org, yeah, sorry. Yeah. I have that one for dot pizza myself. <laughs> but. Uh, yeah. So you can you can look up pretty much anybody's political contributions. Oh shit. Um, which is funny. The richer this, by the way, you'll find this if you guys get curious and want to look into it. The richer someone gets, the more likely they are to donate to both camp or both political uh, parties. Why is that? Really? Uh, because money is power, my man. Wow. It has nothing to do with fucking politics. They're just trying to protect their little fucking acre of land. That's yeah. it. Yeah. All right. Well, I powerful, powerful words. Powerful stuff. So here's, here's the <laughs> sitch, Dan. They're going to send out, mail out new credit cards. Don't try and use the in card. In 48 for hours. A while. So don't use the card. Know that Hillary Clinton shut us down. And by the way, I did ask the Bank of America rep on air if, Epstein if by me it. reporting this, yeah, if, if the Clintons are going to come after me now. So. <laughs> What did they do? They know? No, I asked her. I was like, "Hey, do you think she Epstein killed business. himself?" And she was just like, "Um, maybe." <laughs> yeah, she's like, "You know what? I don't." I'm not know. sure if Bank of America has a corporate policy on the status of Epstein suicide. Sure, sure, <laughs> I hear that. Uh, all right, D'Anthony, we'll see you in an hour or so for Drinking right. Bros News. You are loved, sir. B B. Jared, wow. was call- Jared was calling me too, right when that was all happening. This is there's no way that he did that. Taking an unexpected turn. Um, I thought I was ready to rail against uh, the reps today because I, I no lie, and maybe it's at night, right? Because like, like I said, that thing went through around six thirty. That was you know almost the exact time you, you got, yeah you got home. Um, I was speaking to people that were in broken English last night. I wonder if after hours they just ship it overseas. And they're just like, hey man, we're all we're all done with this. But listen shit. to me. Were they saying those those things to you, like those charges that she just laid no. out? No. 
And they were asking me from, uh, they were like, can you And I'm sorry, what time did that go through? Uh, that went through, uh, according to that phone call, at 627 last night, EST. You were, when were you on the phone with them? Uh, sh- very shortly after, because it, it pops up. Oh, okay. It pops up so immediately. as soon so as a, it did it. You get a text message okay. and you're like, hey. Because I was usually, like, maybe you were mean to them and they decided no, no, to. No, 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 no. So, so usually what happens is, because <laughs> I, I requested a text, yes or no. Got it. Because if I'm, I'm, I'm at a dinner and this has happened to me before. Um, oh, yeah. And you just say yes. I was, at a biz- I was at a business dinner once in LA with these high powered producers. I'm trying to get them to invest in my movies and all this other shit. And they were like, oh, man, your last couple of movies made money, blah, 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 blah. Right. Um, and I was like, the bill comes, I think it was like $1,500. Man, it was fifteen twenty seven, if I remember correctly. Anyways, I give him my card, no big deal, whatever, and then I get the old sir, your card has been declined, and I'm like, oh, that's impossible. This is all impossible. Fraud alert. Uh, cut to. Um, luckily, I had another, you know, card in the card. back of my sitch, right? So I was sure. able to put it on there. But uh, uh, I go outside after this dinner. I'm I'm embarrassed as shit. Like, sure. I think everybody's gone through this, right? I'm no, embarrassed to sh- I never have. Really? <clears throat> oh. Are on, you kidding? Please. I've gone through it at the grocery store, at the gas station, yeah. at the restaurant. Yeah. So I go, please. I go outside and I'm in Los Angeles and I'm on the phone uh, for like an hour and eight minutes trying no, to I clear do the a text fucking thing. thing. Too. So do I. I just and they go, were like, yes, I did it. But that's the thing. I was like, why didn't I get a fucking text message saying like, a, a yes or no? Did you do this charge? Yeah. yeah. Instead of going through this whole, like, did you write a check in November to God knows who for how much? Yeah. Because I kept asking, I was like, did they, did they no, ask they you to verify? Because even like just now, I'm just yeah. like, yes, you, you made an Amazon $20 thing. I'm sure. Yeah, yeah. I, this, I'm sure. Right. I'm sure. But, like, but here's the thing. Every time you say you're sure on something, right? Then it's not. Well, then you get this. And I was like, onward together. And you, you had just said, just say yes. And I was like, actually, no, no. I don't, I'm not sure that I'm, I don't know what this is. No, when she said that, I was like. No. Amazon, yes. Da da da. PayPal, yes. These sure. are things we do all the time, right? Yeah. But that one, no. Wow. This is so like. I was like, let me text Dan. Like, this that's is like crazy. your true crime shit on Netflix Gosh, come I to know. life now. I love it. But like. Who charged and, like I said, Hillary Clinton's campaign? And as we're talking, Jared's calling me. So, of course, my first thing is Jared. That's Is that not Jared through and through? <laughs> because who else? You want to? I'll call, I'll call Jared. We'll get him on air. Call him. Um, that's so fucking fun. Who else did this? And specifically to the Drinking Bros card. Like, we go hard against Hillary does Clinton Jared on this show. Does Jared have the card? Yeah, he's got the card. He does? Jared, you were live on Ross Patterson Revolution. Um, oh, why, hello. Joe, what? <laughs> he's like, didn't want to do that. <laughs> Sorry, I just wanted to call you back, buddy. Yeah, so here we go. He, here we go, Jared. So th- this is a wild one, right? Um, okay. I was uh, just come out with it. We got a fraud alert on Bank of America last <laughs> night for the Drinking Bros podcast credit card specifically, right? Um, got it. We don't use it for much, you know, like uh, expenses and and what have you. It would be hard to be like, okay, we pay our employees and shit, but it was like it'd be hard to put a charge by us, um, you know, because we don't charge that yeah, much shit without, a, without us knowing. Right. So right. they, they shut the card down because they didn't believe I said who I said I was. So this morning when Jesse and I came in to do the show, which we're live on air now, I was like, we'll just call them live on air and I'll just rail against Bank of America for an hour. It didn't happen. Here's what happened. They go, sir, can you verify this charge of onward together, which is a donation to the Hillary Clinton campaign? <laughs> and the first thing I thought is that's Jared fucking with us. <laughs> was that you? <laughs> no, and no. you were calling me right then, and I was like, "Dude, this feels like Jared uh, through and through." Yeah, you. I had, I had a fucking crazy idea. Uh, of course, you did. I, like, for when I when I get to when I get Wilmington? to North Carolina, okay. Um, I ha- I have a really wild fucking theory for for one of your shows that's that I think is gonna light light some girls on fire. <laughs> okay. Ooh, okay. Fire, fire away. What okay. is it? You're, look, you're live on air, so feel free. Uh, so I want to do a broettes episode talking about you know the last one we talked about searching and finding this relationship, but I was thinking about what if that's just a hired position? Oh, that you just get like. <laughs> <laughs> you apply, you get W nine. Yeah, like, hey, this is this is a this is a hundred thousand dollar a year job. Oh my job. god! <laughs> it's just to make me happy. 
<laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> but it's like not it's not so much that it's like a prostitute, right? But it's no, just no, enough. No, no, no. It's like Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like if 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 you if your whole job, you know, <laughs> and if you think about it, like your hours are only kind of afternoons, evenings, and then you leave in the morning. So it's like your hours for this job are only like five and then you go to bed and you wake up and you leave, you know, when I go to work and shit like that. So it's like you're being paid to just make my life easier when I'm with you. <laughs> <laughs> that is so what would, you, what would you expect out of this woman? What's going to be on the on the resume that you're looking I'm just, for? I'm just saying, think of it. Think of it as a as a theory, like as. as yeah, as yeah, things, yeah, yeah. I think things, we should as things progress like. When when my mental state is is heavy on the positive side, we're hyper creative. We're hyper fucking effective. Yeah, like, it's gonna we're, change we're every month. There. So it's like, wait a minute, why not just fucking pay someone to do this? Yeah, because it's really the only way that it's gonna work. <laughs> I feel like. And it's like when that's their job. If they're bad at it, you fire them and you fucking get a new one. <laughs> right and it's just like give them a severance yeah. see you later they did their yeah. you know well it's like and it's up to you too if it's like hey i don't want to do this anymore but really like shit you you, you can, have to give me two weeks notice yeah yeah well even that like like you can have another career you're getting you're getting paid a good amount a year but also you're authorized to have a second career yeah, I mean, look, you're only working <laughs> five, six hours a night, you know, Jared. Exactly. Yeah, you go to sleep around 11 or midnight, so <laughs> it's nothing crazy. Have, you know, if I'm fucking in the zone, like, and I'm I'm editing or I'm yeah, doing like, something, you don't even have leave to me do alone. shit. You're going to you're gonna be ignored to just oh, do whatever sure. you want. For sure. Oh, my gosh, we could go down such a rabbit hole yeah, of this. Yeah, you could, because it's, it's, you've got to put a clause in there for no sex stuff. No, we're going to have to no, go. No, there's when no you... clause for that. No. But we're going to go over, Jared, when you get here, we're going to like go over the here's, application here's, here's and resume. Here's the loophole. You start, if you started an LLC that is technically a pornography company. <laughs> okay, now, Jared, I mean, my God. <laughs> now, now, now we've got to say, look, uh, fucking. No. No. You, dude, this was a conversation. Think about this. Okay, when we went into, when we went into our buddy's porn studio. Yes. Remember? Yep. Like, what are their HR rules there? Because yes, you know that's yeah. a great that's a great question. Up. Yeah. Yeah. Your, your boss is going to come up and say, "Hey, I need you to have sex with this person for money." Yeah. Or hey, yeah. you know, there were there were middle aged women editing porn, hardcore porn, in an open bay office like it was nothing. Yes. Yeah. Like, yeah. So, so you need those kind of lax my, rules. See, that's the loophole. Yeah. If you're a porn company. And I've hired you to play my wife for a year. <laughs> <laughs> you know, we're just not videotaping it. Sure. <laughs> By the way, so Jared, oh, since, since you're on the phone, I'm gonna really I'm gonna like tell Jesse it. this story. We go to do this podcast. Right. With, we can we can say his name. It's Greg Lansky. He owns Vixen. Yeah. Um, yeah. I know. Yeah. 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 Well, he just he sold Vixen. He just sold it. Oh, that's right. Yeah. I, heard, oh, okay. I already sold it for a fuck ton. Um. That's a story yeah. for another day. But e either way, so we, we go in there for a meeting to get him on the show. He just wanted to meet us beforehand or whatever. This is 4.30. I, I never forget this. This is 4.30 in the afternoon in the Valley. So we're, we're talking to him, chat with him. We took some pictures. Yeah. Uh, Jared shot a full sketch with him. That was really fucking funny that oh. we ended up posting. And it was oh, awesome. You did post it. Okay. At 5 o'clock sharp on the dot, uh, an air horn, like a ham horn goes off in there. A DJ comes out and starts scratching in the middle of the office. And we're like, what the fuck is going on? 15 porn stars come out in bikinis and they just start dancing and jiving. At the front door, a bunch of NBA players came in with cell phones out. They were taking videos with them, all this shit. There is women that are openly editing porn out in the like in the lobby. And we're like, this is perfect. Yes. They, they open up the door. It was all catered by... Chipotle. Yeah. Yeah, dude, you've got, yeah, and you've got Gross. yeah, you've got you've got girls in like little thongs shaking their ass on a couch. Yes. Like like there's like ten chicks twerking that are practically naked. <laughs> and and oh by the way, like this is not like when you imagine this, you you imagine it's like a frat party. Like there's a bunch of twenty something year old dudes holding cups of beer up. No. There are middle. It is like you walked into the the show, The Office, and you started this. Oh. Yes. And there are there are middle aged old women. There's there's middle aged men. There's <laughs> older women. Like 
But everybody's acting like a fucking teenager. Yeah. Oh, just a bunch of old <laughs> whites, and, and, huh? and it was 5 o'clock sharp on a Friday, and I looked at Craig, and I go, hey, man, do you do this every Friday? And he goes, yes. It's called company morale, brother. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> See, there we go, Jared. We could do some stuff like this. Like, uh, I'm really into this, and I cannot wait. I think Jared should be the next Greg Lansky, to be honest with you, man. We're missing, <laughs> we're missing that guy. Like, hey, Hugh Hefner exactly. is dead. Uh, Greg just sold his company. Um, who's Wouldn't the guy in the great? wheelchair? Uh, oh, Larry the Flint. Larry Flint. Yeah, Larry Flint. He's gone. I mean, Jared, I, now is your time to shine, man. <laughs> I really well, I think. think I, I think I'm on to a new. I think I'm on to a new possibility here. I mean, what if I? What if I started the agency for for hired oh, by? Be, this could be, be a huge thing. Oh, it'd be like, it'd be monsters if you posted those it's videos. It's the next step, don't you guys think? It's the next step yes. behind besides. Yeah. Dating it's like sites it's, and yeah, Tinder it's, and all it's, of that. It's evolution. It's, it's evolution. Like, hey, are you are you because think of how many guys in Silicon Valley that would be oh, like, I'll pay it'd be a dream. For this. Yeah. It'd yeah. be a dream. And then we take the stigma away yeah. from escorts and prostitutes, yeah. right? And we're yeah. just like, here you yeah. go. Like, no, is I'm there a, anything yeah, different this, between them? So many there's so many loopholes. Like all you have oh. to do is say like the sex is optional, but we all know it's not. Like you're getting ever. <laughs> <laughs> That's in life, my friends. <laughs> yeah. But oh. also, too, even if we had a selection process on our side, so not everybody gets approved. It's like yeah, you gotta yeah, be yeah, like yeah. good, good looking, like everything like that. So like there is a level of enjoyment out of both sides you know what i mean yeah 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 like that and i would say the girls have to know you know your business and and all that stuff but you could be the guy i mean think about how many gun bunnies are out there who would love to get paid to just hang out shoot guns with jared taylor all day right? and then have a fucking champagne party at five o'clock on a friday and like yeah. the list the list that we have to write of what they and need like, to do is yeah. going to be so fun. She has a company, <laughs> you know, she has a company card, she's allowed to yeah. like yeah, yeah. Hey, if you're going to throw something for me on Friday for morale, fuck, are you kidding? Here you go. My wife threw me a fucking porn star party. This is amazing. <laughs> like, that's that's where I think this gets really interesting is the girls that really want to excel at their job. You uh, essentially have promotions. a dream life. Yeah. Yeah. It's like, <laughs> hey, hey, oh sweetheart, you just got off work. I took you these 10 nudes. Uh, I invited like nine of my hot friends over. We're going to have a champagne party at the pool. Hope you don't mind. We'd love for you to join. Like, I would just cry. <laughs> I would get on my knees. I mean, they'd have job security. <laughs> job security. They could get tenure. Yeah. Oh, my goodness. Oh. Yeah. I, Retirement I mean, parties? This is the greatest yeah. idea you've ever had in your entire Seriously, life. Seriously, Jared. <laughs> I'm so into this. I'm wondering like if we shouldn't tell Tiffany so that it's like fresh to her. Absolutely. Yeah. And we yeah, can let, get let like her because you know she's gonna fucking fall off the edge. She's oh, she's gonna, gonna be, gonna like, be a, oh, she might what? be against it. She might be against it. But this is so great. God, you know what Evan always says is one out of a uh, hundred uh, ideas that Jared has are, are, are actually great. great. This was your one. This there is your you one go, out of a hundred this week. There you go. This week. Yeah. Got it. Yeah. Got it. <laughs> uh, the wife for hire. We love you, buddy. I will see you uh, in a couple weeks in Tejas, uh, man. All right. Can't wait. All right. <laughs> Bye. 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 <laughs> I mean. Oh, so good. So good. What are you saying, Jamie? Yeah. Oh. oh, yeah, yeah. We got the sponsors. I thought uh, he said sandwich. And I was see, like, I can't. Je Jesse was like, sandwich? I'm, I know. I'm not going to make you a sandwich. Like, I'm on air. Yeah, yeah. You can't. She makes a lot of sandwiches <laughs> in this life. She can't do it on air, people. Can't, sandwich? No, I'm joking. Man, um, this took a fucking hard shaving. right today. Now, thank God. <laughs> thank God it turned out the way it did. Because, you know, before you were like, I'm going to show you. I'm going to show you my life. Yeah. And listen, I want to say right now. I wish it was I this know, interesting every time. But look, I know it's shitty. Yeah. I've been on the I've been on those calls uh, and I'm bad at them. Right. Yeah. I feel like I just start crying. You know what I mean? Like, I'm just like so frustrated. Like, what do you, you mean? You always just give up and you're like, yeah, just charge me whatever it is. Just fucking charge I me. I don't give up, but I'm just like, what are you talking about? Like, I take... I take no for an answer. Do you know what I mean? Whereas you don't. <laughs> yeah. You know what I mean? When they're like, no, ma'am, that's not possible. I'm like, okay. Um, but I'm like, why? It's like, you know? Yeah. Like, you guys messed up. But they, 
anyway. Yeah. So I'm, I've been on the calls. I know. They just, they make me uncomfortable when I'm on them. They make me uncomfortable when I hear you on them. But look, I'd rather it be you than me. Yeah, no, of course, of course. And that's, look, that's the man's job. The only thing I, I'm asking for is a little sympathy afterwards of like, hey, man, because okay. usually it's a lot of judging of like, you did something wrong. And I was like, I didn't fucking do anything wrong. That could have been solved last night in 10 minutes. You do the same with me in other realms. Uh, which one? What, what realms? I think it's natural. <laughs> What's this like Fran Drescher voice you've been doing here? I don't know. Uh, yeah. But uh, we, we get a, we it, get, go ahead. I think it's natural. Like you, if something goes wrong, mm-hmm. the first thing you ask me is, what did I do? Uh, right? Yeah. And then I go, no, it wasn't my fault. I did this. Right? Mm-hmm. And I even think then you still don't believe me. Yeah. <laughs> so it's times, just an a testament to like how much faith we have in each other, which yeah. is not a lot. Uh, I love you. I love you, James. Uh, we'll finish up the sponsors here. Strikeforceenergy.com. We already did it. Boom, 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 shablinkers. No, we didn't get to the promo codes or any of the, sh- uh, any okay, of the shit, Okay, well, I already Gabes. did boom, 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 shablinkers. I already did all oh, that. Oh, so sorry to make we you already do talked that about one it. more time today. I'm sorry, but we already did actually do Strike Force. We, no, we, we only got through half of Strike Force, and then she picked it up. Okay, but do the uh, promo code and do the pre- um Promo the code revolution, 20% off yeah. at strikeforceenergy.com. Subscription of the month, no carbs, no sugars. No gluten. Every, yeah, no gluten. It comes, goes hey, in everything. If you care about gluten, which a lot of people, a lot of people do. Do. Uh, go to strikeforceenergy.com today. Get that fucking boner on. Ah, it doesn't have anything to do with boner, Gosh. but uh, I wish it did. Hmm. Last but not least, we got straightrazors.com. Ooh, that's a clean cut. Smooth. Yep. Nah, I'll leave them on. Go ahead. Oh, you like it? Yeah. Uh, yeah, you left him on, and I that's wanted, what happened. I wanted to let freedom ring inside my, Good my for you. earpieces. Good for you. Um, so, I, funny story about straightrazors.com. I was out of my beloved Smolder aftershave last night, so I ordered like three bottles. I used my own promo code. It has only happened like one or two times where, where they called me, and they were like, hey, Ross, it's us, man. You can... You can stop using your own promo code. And I was mm. like, oh, well, no. I mean, it's just a, you know, I just a habit, force a habit, whatever, right? Like, what are they saying? Pay full price? No, no, oh. no. They were like, you can just call us and ask us for free oh, shit. Yeah, and I'm yeah, like, yeah. no, I want to support, but I also want a, a discount. And I want to use my own promo code and, sure. and, and whatever. And uh, it was Luke Webster, who I love, one of my favorite dudes. Uh, strike, straightrazors.com has been one of those for fucking every, day one, I think. Um, they're the best. So I love all of their products. And uh, he hits me up and he goes, uh, no, man, I, I just just know I'm going to put a little something extra in there. He's a really fucking funny guy in real life. He goes, I'm going to put a little something extra in there with these. Um, so that's coming your way. Just give me like, you know, an extra day on this. Mm-hmm. Um, and I was like, all right, cool, man. No, no worries. Uh, but I got popped. For, and I felt guilty last night for using my own promo code. <laughs> it's usually, you know, we have a bunch of sponsors on Drinking Bros and you have uh, someone broettes mm-hmm. like um, – you just assume that the owners aren't going through their orders being no. like, oh, hey, yeah. Twice this has happened to me now. It's really funny. That and KillCliffCBD.com, which I love. Promo code They're Drinking like, Bros. Hey, buddy. 20% off. They were like, you don't need to do this. And I was like, no, I, I, I want to pay. But they were like, you want to pay and support, but also use a discount for yourself. And I was like. Yeah, because we want to get, we want it to be like, hey, it's coming from this show. Well, I, here's my thing. So, like we're supporting because everything you? is online shopping these days, mm. whenever you see that box at the end, and this is look for having a, po- a podcast for five years at this point, I I, I want to put a code in. I want something, you know, where I'm like, I want to feel like I'm getting a discount. I want to feel like I'm getting yeah, a deal, yeah, you know. Yeah, so yeah, like yeah. that's that's just the whole part of online shopping now, where it's just like ah shit. Like because I go to a site sometimes if I don't have one to look for promo codes. I used to, but they're all fake or dead, and like I haven't been able to game the system yet. Mm. Um, so, and if you know one, slide it on down Daddy's way. Because mm. um, I, I I get a lot of stuff from DX, and they ask for a promo code, and I don't have a promo code for DX. Well, go to promo code for DX. I did, and it was on it, Google. It, it came it up as work. penis is the promo code, and I was just oh, like, wow. yeah. It didn't work. Uh, straightrazors.com, best in the biz, kids. Um, again, I just ordered three bottles of aftershave last night. No lie. Um, I love it, man. Uh, and the razors last forever, so I'm super stoked. If you're 
worried about using a straight razor, you can use a safety razor on there. Uh, they got kits. They engrave uh, shampoos, conditioners, beard oils. And I use that cologne all the time, uh, the Smolder uh, cologne as well. I love it. Go to straightrazors.com. Promo code REVOLUTION for 20-20% twin 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 off. Twin twin. Um, I wanted to tell you, I saw a, uh, a last-second Oscars thing. They were doing like um, some behind-the-scenes shit of like uh, uh, how they got Eminem on and no one knowing or not being oh, okay. outed, which I was surprised by too. And they said, the producer of the Oscars said that only six people were notified, so that way it, it definitely would not get out. Oh wow! And they were like, so all the people, is they posted a bunch of memes of all these like shocked faces in the audience. So like, did he not practice? Maybe. I'm not sure. They no I, sound check. What, uh, so here's the thing: <laughs> what they said was he rehearsed once. Mm. So what it, was it there? Probably not, because that would have gotten out, mm-hmm. right? So it was. It had to have been somewhere else that he did the sound check. Oh, okay, that might have been the reason for the sound oh, fucking up. Probably. And then the people in the crowd, I, I guess, were genuinely shocked. Where they yeah. were like, Jesus Christ. Um, so that Eminem was there, but uh, yeah, there was that one. And then, um, uh, fuck, man, what was the other huge one that I was just like, oh, man, uh, I didn't know that. For the Oscars? Yeah. Um, Little Oscar BTS. God damn it. God damn it. Um, damn it, Bob. Damn it, Bob. Damn it, damn it, damn it, Bob. Now, well, I am going to do that song at some point. I get a ton of messages for that still today. Our producer Jamie's laughing right now. Mm-hmm. You're the only one that does not find that one humorous. I do now. I told you with you, like, as if you do it up to seven times, I find it funny. Okay. Okay. It's the first two that I don't. God damn it. Now I've, I lost my train of thought. What was the fucking Oscar story uh, behind the scenes? Um, shit. While you're thinking about it, have you heard about Ariana Grande and Jim Carrey making out? No, you're kidding. It's a, it's a li- video he that's likes circulating. He loves, oh, he I, so I saw the video. I didn't. I didn't know it was Jim Carrey. Rumor you know where has they were at? it. They were at Bar Louie in the Valley. Oh, oh, wait. Where is that? It's in the fucking. I, every we've all been to Bar Louie thirty thousand times. Oh, okay. So it's just a in the valley s- stock standard dive val- okay. fucking bar in the in the valley well of course Anyways, they would be there there was a mystery man making out with ariana grande in a booth i didn't know it was jim carrey he likes him young though man he does like him young and she likes him weird and funny like she will take a weird looking oh, ariana grande, motherfucker yeah. Yeah, yeah. i guess i can't see her having a sense of humor but maybe she is hilarious Ugh. or she just likes comedy i don't know but it doesn't surprise me. It's just sort of like, really? Yeah. What a I, weird couple. It's funny, man. I was, um, you know, friends with Eliza Dushku for many years after after making the new guy. She said she got invited up to Jim Carrey's house. I'm sure. And, I, you know, she was at that point, I think, 25 years younger, somewhere in there, you know? Mm-hmm. And I was just like, oh. She was like, I didn't know what it was. Like, you know, if it was like a friend thing or like a hey thing or whatever. Yeah, and I was yeah, just yeah, like, yeah, no. it's not a the, hey thing. The other, the, the girl that he was dating that killed herself. Yeah, was very young. She was very young too. Mm-hmm. And it was just like, uh, Ariana Grande to me that it. Not only I know is she's she like young, 27. I know. But the way that she presents. Yes. Is very young. Yeah. Oh, younger. And she so, looks like 14. 14. So I'm like. Gosh, maybe this will tick all the boxes for him. Yeah. You know, where he like gets a young girl that's not like super young, but definitely acts and looks young, right? I guess, man. Um, that's creepy though, right? Uh it is yeah, yeah. Because it's him, like I know that he's so weird too. Yes. That I'm like That's what she said. She it, was like he was super weird, man. He's it was not super it, it, weird. He's not like hilarious. No, like he's very oh, intense weirdness. Um and very just like artsy and very you know. Yeah, yeah. He's yeah. not like a laugh riot all the time. No. At all. No. Um but yeah, I think that's why I find it creepy. I don't really think the age difference is that in San. But uh, I think that they are a very weird match, you know? How old is Jim Carrey these days? These days? Yeah. I don't know. I, uh, I haven't looked him up in a long time. Look, he's got a movie coming out tomorrow. That's why he's been everywhere right now. What 
Oh, Sonic is it the Hedgehog. The Sonic, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah and yeah. people said he's fucking awesome. And then he's Ariana Grande was on Kidding, his show. So that's how they kind of like got the, to be the, in uh, the Showtime show. Oh, okay. Really? Yeah. I guess she, she did that? like a guest star on there or whatever. So that's how they came to be in each other's orbit. So it's not like out of nowhere, but it's still weird. Got right? it. So he just turned 58. Ariana Grande is, I believe, 27. Is she so. that old, though? I think so, which is weird, right? Gosh. She looks like she's fucking four years old. Seriously. And it's creepy as shit. Um, she's 26, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I just, uh, I don't, look, I don't, I know there's, she's got a shit ton of fans and all that stuff. I just don't get down on Ariana Grande at all. I don't get all of it. I don't get the little babyness of it. Um, same with The Bachelor, that one girl who looks like a fucking tiny little baby. I'm just like. And dots her eyes with hearts. Hearts, yeah, and wrote a, a note like she was going to stuff it in somebody's locker. Like, I don't. There's a funny meme. That's not my vibe. About that. Where you're just like, dude, No. No, like, and if you find that grow up cute, oh, are you being Fran? Yeah, yeah. Grow up. Grow up. Yeah. But if you find that cute, there's something wrong, Mm -hmm. right? If you find that attractive at 58 for like the heart or even Peter, the pilot, let's say, if you find that sexy, something, something wrong. Oh, so I speak. Hey, speaking of Peter, the pilot. um, Let's please. I fucking dimension it out on the other story i was going to tell um <laughs> speaking of <laughs> <laughs> are you never gonna grab it probably not i can't an find oscar, it an oscar an oscar behind the scenes can't find it there was started one with massive M&M. thing yeah uh, can't i can't find it don't do it it's it's a waste of time don't try and go down your my mind your is, wormhole yeah i'm i'm in for the audience i'm writing i'm halfway through the third saint james book right now so i'm writing late at night every night so yeah i'll dementia out of this one um, and just call it, call it for what it is. Okay, to, I'm sorry. So you, uh, Pilot Pete, though. Pilot Pete, is this true? This is a fucking bombshell that you said, and then fucking Bill, B Bush, Billy Bush, who I hate now. Um, on what, what is he? Is it Entertainment Tonight or Extra or what are they calling it? He's extra. Extra, yeah. Mm-hmm. He's extra, and he is extra <laughs> as well. Oh my gosh, how perfect! So they're saying he's so extra. You said that that the reveal is he's not going to marry any of these bitches, um, and that he's actually dating one of the producers on the show. Now, Billy Bush showed who it was last night because I guess she worked in that office at one point, and she's produced the last two seasons of The Bachelor. Okay. Um, which The Bachelor's been on for, what, 24 right, seasons and or something? Right, both so. ABC. So she- yeah, so it makes sense if you're going to jump from show to show. That happens a lot in the industry uh, within the same network. Um, so Billy had a freeze frame of her behind him uh, on, the, on the thing last night. Yeah. I'm going to be honest. She was hot, and she was better looking than what's left for Peter. So, fuck. I kind of hope it is true. Because this season's been a snooze. It has, but I don't know how that works. Some might say, some might argue that that's the ultimate love. You know, if you're watching someone bone and or make out with every 90 girls in front mm-hmm. of you and you're in love with that person afterwards, is Peter going to find anybody better on this earth than that chick? I don't care about him. I, I don't either, but this would be the, this would make me care, Jabes. They're going to have to do something. So whether it's true or they fabricate it or whatever. They're going to do something at the end where he doesn't end up with anyone. Mm, but I want to see her end up with, with this girl. With the producer? Yeah, and that may it. be true now. I think that may be true now. Maybe he didn't end up with anyone and he's now dating this producer girl. Possibly. I don't know how they could keep it under wraps for this long. Oh, let's see here. Without a picture God, somewhere. This is everywhere now. Surfacing. Um, you know? This is everywhere now. This is, I mean, this is in like the Buffalo news. I just, I feel like with this show, you can't hide anything anymore. Exactly. There's spoilers everywhere. People know something. Whereas even if it's um, like somebody has seen them out or someone stayed in the resort and saw someone go home. Do you know what I mean? Like, I'm looking at it now. I'm looking at her Instagram. Her name is Julie LaPlaca. Um, it looks she amped to get rid of that last name. And maybe that's why she's fucking into it. She's just like, yo. What's I wanna, Peter's last name? I want to get the fuck out of here. Isn't it? It's Weber, right? 
Is it Weber? Yeah, it's Pete Weber. Oh, he's such a fucking white. My uh, favorite bowler of all time, his name is Pete Weber, and it fucks me up, dude. PDW. <laughs> I just brought him up on uh, Drinking Bros Sports the other day. He is the only pro bowler who just talks shit, and they started miking him afterwards. Mm -hmm. So I'm at the gym, and uh, the senior fucking bowling circuit is on one of the TVs. It's on a Sunday. There's nothing on. There's no sports on right now. It fucking sucks. Anyways, he hits a, he hits a strike, rolls a strike, and the senior... Circuit, mm -hmm. yelling at a guy who's 65 years old, does a crotch chop, gets in his face, and he goes, who you think you are, I am. And I was like, that's the greatest line of, I've ever heard. That's the greatest line. Of shit talking in my entire life. That's, that's, that's the real Pete Weber. That's PDW um, wow. in the biz. So whenever I hear this gimpy ass's name, I'm just like, God damn it, yeah. man. You know? Flat foot. Yeah. I was like the white kid I played basketball or uh, baseball with as a, as a child. His name was Michael Jordan, and it was, he was so gimpy. I was like, dude, <laughs> come on, man. Was it really? Yeah, dead serious. <laughs> Oof. Michael Jordan, the white fucking shortstop. Uh, he's terrible. Anyways, um, with this, there is a picture of the two of them together on her Instagram. Mm -hmm. Not his. Mm -hmm. um, and it says, one more month until The Bachelor takes off on the greatest flight of his life. Uh I'm gonna be reals with you. This girl's, this girl's attractive. She's hotter than the contestants left. Okay, Ross, you already said that. What's the Look, fucking you, issue? You're the fucking hottest chick on the planet. So I, I, I know, but what's, I can say what does like her being attractive have to do with the validity of this rumor? Here's what I'm saying. Okay, I Kelly was the name? front runner for me. Yeah, she should have been. Clearly was not treated as such. Kelly, you deserve better, and I'm sure you're gonna get it out there. Maybe she'll be the Bachelorette. Maybe. I, I don't think her personality is big enough for that, to be honest with you. Uh, but she's a fucking lawyer, and she's cool. And you can tell like she's probably a good, genuine person. Mm -hmm. um, and she was just over, like, dude, you're dating 22-year-olds who are fucking idiots. Because he's a fucking grown-up. He's a pilot with a big boy job and a big boy life. Yeah, but he's not a big boy. Yeah, but why do you want to date these fucking girls? So anyways. Because he's like 26. I, here's my thought process behind this, right? Mm -hmm. Kelly leaves. The internet fucking goes scorched earth which they did. Fuck you, Pete. Mm -hmm. Jack off. Um, and then he sits there, is watching this, reevaluates his life, and he's probably dug this girl, and he was just like, well, shit. She's a producer on The Bachelor. She's got a good job. She's hot. I'm not dealing with any of these fucking children all day. Right. Plus, when they're filming, they immediately go back. You're probably spending five, six hours a day with the producers on, the, on a show like this. Yeah, well, that's what one of the, on, on Extra, one of the, previous bachelorettes was like yeah they're just with you all day all day they're your best friend they're your mom sister blah 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 you have no connection you can't use your phone you can't use anything so they're literally your only like connection besides yeah the show uh so normal like, hot girl the, oh oh wow this got kicked up a notch i'm on her instagram now um she's got a picture posted with hannah b from last year yeah i mean hannah b was and a business, so it's like, you know, that'd be weird, right? If what? Remember last year, he was crying over Hannah B. He was one of the finalists and all that shit. So I just kind of feel like... This? Well, yeah, what's your gut feeling on this? Yes or no? I say no. Okay. Um, And I... Only because, like, it's a real bad look for her. Eh. This producer. Remember Homegirl from uh, SNL dating Ben Affleck right after Jennifer Garner? Different... For sure different. So this is a bad look because she's seen him crying over Hannah. She's seen him dating, going into fantasy suites, doing all this shit. Yeah. And then that didn't work out. And so he picked her. Hmm. So I don't know. Man. I don't know. Well, I, I don't know. I don't know and if it's going to shake out. I, I just think in today's world, especially in The Bachelor, there's too much social media around there, man. I think I think the internet might have cracked the code on this one. So I'm going to go yes. You're going to go no, right? Mm-hmm. Okay. What does the winner get? An iceberg wedge from Carabas. And I want that on Valentine's and I Day. I want it chopped. <laughs> Do not make me cut that shit myself. No. I want it uh, at, at 12.01 tonight because <laughs> Valentine's Day is tonight at 12.01. I want that laying on my pillow oh. in the other room that I'm sleeping in because I'm, we're sleep training our child. 
Mm-hmm. And our other child is, is taking up the bed because <laughs> we don't want to wake him either and bother what his, a life. his sleep training as well. <laughs> <laughs> what a life. What a life. Fran Drescher, everyone. <laughs> it's, a, uh, <laughs> it's a fran <laughs> Oh, God, it's not. Oh, yes. It and is that's not, not Fran Drescher, by the way. Who is it? I don't know. Who, who are you doing? It's somebody. I don't know. It's some kind of emphasis. Uh, well, maybe, maybe not. Uh, let's get to the revolutionary figure of the day, shall we? We shall. We're going to give it to Nina. No, we're not going to give it to Nina. We're not. I'm giving it to Nina. You can. The Bank of America rep. Mm-hmm. Congratulations. Congratulations, Nina. I'm going to give it to uh, Santa Maria and the Pinta. Um, <laughs> no? Is it too soon for a Christopher Columbus joke? Okay. When is Columbus Day? <laughs> <laughs> Shut up. No, you're going to love this one, actually. This is okay. for you. This is for you, James. Oh, well, thank you. No, I mean, for real, you're going to love this one. This one's going out to Rick Moranis. Oh, I love Rick Moranis. <laughs> Told you. What? <laughs> Told you. So we, we talked about this last year or mm-hmm. like a year and a half ago, how he just, he re- you told the story. Mm-hmm. T- tell the audience real quick. So he, uh, I think either his wife died or he, or she got sick. Mm-hmm. And he has uh, daughters, and he stepped out of the limelight to raise them. Yes. And just never went back to acting, not even for one second. And was just like, it is better for me, better for them. Mm -hmm. It is a more noble cause, or whatever it may be, to make sure that these girls grow up. Yeah. With their dad around all the time. Yes. And I'm just like, oh my God, I love you. And I think he left at a time when he could have still been oh, getting. It, he, he was getting. He was. He was getting. So I want to I preface this by saying. I think he's like saying, a professor somewhere. Yeah. yeah. I want to preface this by saying he was and has always been getting acting offers. Um, yeah. He's, look, he's old school. Like he was an like a SCTV alum. Like he was in. He's like a, he was a when, Bill Murray kind of. Well, I would Air, say no, that. but he's like Air, it was Martin Short. Yeah, so yeah. it was Martin Short and those guys, and uh, Steve Martin, and uh, yeah, Bill Murray was around that era as well. But um, uh, John Candy, he was you know big with Candy and those guys because those yeah. those guys were all on SCTV, and um, he left exactly like you said. Um, his kids are grown now. Okay. Um, and the internet melted down today uh, when they announced Rick Moranis is back. Oh my gosh. And he's going to return to Honey, I Shrunk the Kids franchise at Disney. So he's going to come back and do Honey, I Shrunk the Kids again. Stop. And yeah. And everybody was amped about it. Um, super oh, nostalgic. Oh, I love this. And, yeah. So uh, his wife died of breast cancer mm-hmm. um, like three years before he decided to just. Um, leave yes. and take care of his kids and i love this story so much and i hope that it works out and that it's good and it, it is i, I mean it's, I, it, it's it's so it's it's going forward um uh disney they've already signed the deals to just close and uh people are, are amped oh, about the return awesome. of rick moranis and i saw i saw a picture of him he still looks the same does still, he yes i mean he always looked like an older <laughs> Yeah, it looks dorky I, dude, I, right? It looks like he never went anywhere. Yeah. So it's it's great. It's great news all the way around. And I, I like hearing stories like this where uh, just a dude who did the right thing. Because mm-hmm. a lot of times in, in Hollywood, when people step away, you don't know that it's because of their family or what the reasoning is. It, it's such a cynical place that you're like, oh, man, I, well. Couldn't I hack no, it. I bet nobody wanted him for things. Wasn't that. It Wasn't that. Wanted to take care of his family. That's it. So, and especially uh, after something like that, he was just like, they went through something so traumatic. Mm-hmm. I just want to be there for them all the time. Yeah. So it's That's great. Amazing. It's great. And I knew you'd be amped about that one yeah. today. So uh, Rick Moranis is our revolutionary figure of the day. Um, I, it's, it's rare you hear stories like this. Yeah. So it's cool. It's cool. Jesse, wild show. Gosh, <sighs> lots of twists and turns. Lots of ups and around. downs. <laughs> a lot of cries and frowns. A lot of ins and outs. Uh, Jamie, you got your work cut out for you bleeping out all this shit. If it gets through any of it, you're dead. We're going to kill you live on air and then just leave the body. We're going to go Facebook Live. Yeah. YouTube Live. We're not, we're not picking you up. We're killing you. We're leaving you here. We'll and then we're just going to leave up. it on for hours. Yeah. We'll uh, do it in pieces. It, yeah. We'll put that uh, Reservoir Dog song on. Mm-hmm. Stuck in the middle of you, you. <laughs> Jesse. And then everyone will know what ha- happens next. Dance around your body. You get cut up. up. Yep, you get cut up, brother. 
Um, <laughs> James, looking forward to the performance tonight. Happy Valentine's Day to you, my love. Oh, thank you, my love. Yes, um, I do love you. I do love you too. Uh, for Jesse Wiseman, <laughs> aka the Jables, I'm Ross Patterson. That makes you so uncomfortable. I know. This is the revolution. Rate us on iTunes. The advertisers or advertising agency is asking for it. Um, we've never asked for ad, uh, to rate us on iTunes, so please just give well, us a five star. Well, here's what it is. You guys write like awesome messages on Instagram, like love this show, love this yeah, whatever. Yeah. If you could just do that on iTunes, on iTunes, that would be awesome. We're not That'd asking for any more than what you already do. Yes. So thank you very much, and uh, good night, everyone. Good night.